Hello, I am Deepak Damodaran. This is our medicine. Let's stop medicine. One of the most important functions that we expect to do at Aram is to take you through the journey of being a medical student to being a practitioner of medicine. And it is during your house surgency or your internship that you really learn how to treat patients as a physician. And Aram is going to help you go through that process. I still remember my first case of chest pain in the casualty. It's usually one of the most thrilling moments as a house surgeon when you have a patient of chest pain come to you. Now, if I recall, that gentleman was around 62 years of age and uh, he said that he had a chest pain which was sudden in onset on lifting a heavy box. It was present in the center of his chest retrosternal behind his sternum he said and it was he said spreading to the left arm you around the ulnar border and he said that the pain was associated with sweating and palpitation we could see that he had tachycardia and this is what we usually put together and call as diaphoresis so this elderly gentleman has come to us with a sudden onset chest pain that uh, radiates to the left side of his arm and uh, is present in the retrosternal area which is associated with diaphoresis and on asking he said that it's present for the last one hour if such a patient comes to you and i ask you what is your first diagnosis what would you say of course you would say myocardial infarction but what if I just twist it a little and ask you, what are your differential diagnoses? Yes, clearly, myocardial infarction should be your number one priority because it is quite common and it is very, very dangerous. But what other conditions can present mimicking a myocardial infarction? Most commonly, it is to do with the gastroesophageal region, either gastritis, that is peptic ulcer disease, or gastroesophageal reflux disease, very, very common conditions. Esophageal spasms, esophageal ruptures are a little rarer, but they too can present in a similar fashion. There are much more common conditions like costochondritis, which can happen after a viral infection. Usually there is tenderness at the rib joint uh, areas. And uh, let's not forget the viral infections can also produce acute pericarditis. Never forget that in a patient who has Marfan's or an elderly patient with hypertension, there is always a possibility of the dissection of the iota. In such individuals, the pain tends to radiate to the back. So this is another condition that you should keep as a possibility. Sometimes if you do suspect it, uh, a pain that is worsening, a crescendo kind of pain radiating to your back, you might even need to rule out aortic dissection by using an echocardiogram. Lastly, lung conditions can also mimic it. Very classically, pulmonary thromboembolism and pneumothorax can mimic this condition. So, myocardial infarction is not the only condition that presents like what we have seen, but that should be your first priority. You should rule out myocardial infarction. Right? So, now that this gentleman has presented to you, my question would be, what would you do next? This is something that we all are faced with. What do you think you would do next? Yes, most of you would be doing the exact same thing that I said, do an ECG. Yes, that was my idea, but I'm not the smartest person in my class. In fact, there was another person, one of my colleagues, Rahul, very street smart fellow from Chennai. He came up to me and said, Tambi, ECG Give him aspirin. Give him a tablet of aspirin. 75 milligrams of aspirin. ECG We will do an ECG later. Well, we were about to do that when our class topper came. Our class topper, Amrita, comes to us and says, No, 75 ml, uh, milligrams is not enough. You need to give 325 milligrams of aspirin. Now, all three of us are having a big argument. Our gentleman is sitting with chest pain. A fourth person came up and said, Please, consensus. Let's give him aspirin. While he's swallowing the aspirin, let's do an ECG at the same time. After listening to all of us argue, the staff nurse came and told us, look, you children know nothing. Please call the cardiologist. Now, what, which of this would you choose 
if you were in my position. I would invite you to take the quiz below this video and we shall proceed after.